starring Abbott and Costello. And now from Hollywood, the Abbott and Costello Show. It's a wonderful thing. I want to tell you something, Abbott. This what? is really nice to get here in Los Angeles again. Yeah. And you know, we only got here, and right away fast, we got to go back east again, because you opened your big mouth and you got us in a play with Elizabeth Scott. Now, Lou, don't feel that we way. We only got here. But, Louie, it's the greatest opportunity of our lifetime. I know, but I don't know why we have to do a, a play with Elizabeth Scott. Well, I wrote it? a beautiful play. I would like to have Elizabeth Scott to do with me. What play did you it's write? It's a beautiful play. What did you write? It starts off where I'm kissing Elizabeth Scott for 15 minutes. And then what happens? The curtain goes up and the play starts. Oh, stop that! <laughs> By the way, did you wire back home and explain to the folks and tell them we arrived safe? No, because we only oh, got here, but I think it's a good idea if I wire my wife. You should. Come on over here. Hey, West Virginia boy! No boy. Oh, West Virginia boy! Where, where, There's nobody here. Where, 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 hey, buddy. What? You make out the wire for me, then I can send it to my wife in the east. What's the matter, can't you write? Don't get personal, just make it out. <laughs> well, who's the telegram going to? It's going to my whip. Whip? Wife, 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 wife. What, what's your wife's name? Lotta. Huh? Lotta. 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 Lotta hip. 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 Is that Troy, New York, or Troy, California? Which one is the cheapest? Troy, California. Send it there. Hey. <laughs> Troy, California. What street does she live on? She don't live on a street. Now, she must live on a street, Lou. Boulevard. Hey, do <laughs> well, what boulevard? Pick out a nice clean one. What boulevard do you live on? Well, pick out a nice clean one. Well, there's you? all kinds of boulevards. There's Westmoreland Boulevard. There's Franklin Boulevard. Ooh, I like Franklin. You like Franklin? Put down Westmoreland. All right. Well, make up your mind. Put down Westmoreland Boulevard. Westmoreland Boulevard. Uh, what number, please? 248. 248. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> 745. 745. That's wrong, too. Well, make up your mind. Come on, Lou. 963 is wrong. Well, look, we'll miss the train if it gets us off. Put down 222. 222. That's a good number. Come on, I'm going to play it and box it. All right, all right. <laughs> now, what do you want to say? Now, i got to say something. Well, naturally, you're sending a wire. You want to say something. Well, put down, let me see. Put down like this. I arriven. Uh-huh. I arroven. Arroven. I arraven. What are you talking about? I arriven. I have open. What do you say? I have raven. Make up your mind. I have raven. What? Tell him I got here! Wait a minute. I arrived safe. Not you. Put down me arrived safe. Yeah, well, that's it. I arrived safe. Not you. I'm sending the wire, ain't I? Yeah. But then put down me arrived safe. You don't say me arrived safe. You just say you arrived safe. I arrived safe. No, you're not. Put down the wire. I arrived yeah. safe. Re me arrived safe. Wait, read it yourself. I arrived safe. There you are. Now you read it. I arrived safe. Put down we both arrived safe. All right. Uh, I arrived safe. <laughs> all right. And what else? Now say, found everything all right. Found everything Okay. No, don't put down okay. Put down all right. Well, okay and all right means the same thing. No, my thing. wife don't understand the slang stuff, so you better well, put down all right. slang, okay put, and all right. Put down all right, please. What do you want? want? I want all right. Okay. Now, don't put down all... Put down all right. All right. Okay. Okay. 
Now, what do you want? I want all right. All right, okay. Good. Well, you got it. I'm going to live in New York. I'm going to live in NY. What's this NY? That's the way I abbreviate New York. That's Let's the way you abbreviate it. Does my wife know you? No, no. No! Put down New York! All right. <laughs> I want New York. Okay. All right. All right. Now, don't start that, please. I'm going to send you some money. I'm going to send you some money. Now, you could put in parenthesis, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> put in parenthesis, perhaps. All right, I've got it. Now you sign, your loving husband. Your loving husband. Not has been husband. Not down low. Your loving husband. Your loving husband. Water. What? Huh? Water. Water. Water hip. Oh, water hip. Water hip. There you are. I guess that kind of takes in everything, Lou. How much would that cost now? Well, now, let's see. We'll figure that out for you. That'll be, uh, let's see, it'll be 25, 25 is 50. It'll be, uh, 50 and 50 is a dollar. It'll be city tax, county tax, borough tax, road tax. What's for all the tax you have? Well, taxes, you know how taxes are today, Lou. You yeah, can't know murder, certainly. I know that. Let's see, I need a haircut and a shave. That'll be now, a dollar. come on, will you? Got... <laughs> you got me all mixed up. Where was I? I just got your haircut and a shave. All right, now, forget about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see, that'll be, uh, nine dollars and sixty cents. Nine dollars and sixty cents? Nine but I've one wire? Well, Lou, that's the way it figures out. What are you gonna do, shoot it out of a cannon? No. Nine sixty. Well, you know, in a telegram, you pay by the word. Each word costs you so much. Well, Abbott, that's why I asked you to make it well, out before uh, I give it to the boys. So. You could eliminate a lot of these unnecessary words. Well, and... if we could eliminate some of them, let's eliminate them. I, I don't want, I want to pay the guy a lot of money. Let's well, eliminate the words. Well, like here. You could save a lot of money right at the beginning of your wire by taking out your eye. Of course. <laughs> You take out your eye here, you're saving money. Why should I take out my eye? I don't want to take my eye out. Why should money. you pay for your eye? I paid for this eye a long no, time ago. Right. I'm you... not taking my eye out Wait for minute, nobody. Low, low, low. Why, sh why should you say I arrived safe? You well, arrive... if I send my wife a wire and say, I arrived safe without an eye, I'm not now, safe without an eye. <laughs> I must have got hurt if Low. I got an no, eye. No, no, you could arrive, you could arrive safe without the eye. How can I arrive safe just without an eye? Just put arrive safe. You just want me to take my eye out, don't you? No. Here. Go ahead, take it out. I saw everything. Go All ahead. Right, look, we've got it out. Out where? Oh, you mean the eye in the sentence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you save money that way. Ah, what you got now? Well, you just have arrived safe, which means that... The same thing. If my wife gets this wire, then she knows that I arrived safe. Well, you've got something. There's no use of doing that, huh? No. You better eliminate that. Eliminate that. All right, we'll take that. <laughs> what do you got now? Uh, found everything all right. That's bad. Why? My wife's gonna think I found something she'll want to have. Oh, well, I didn't... Is that right? Oh, I see. Take it out. Uh, elim eliminate it. Uh, eliminate that. <laughs> what you got now? Uh, I'm going to live in New York. That's a shame. Why? My wife don't even know where New York is. Oh, she don't. She's never been out of the house. Well, I don't know. You're sending the wire. Eliminate it. Take it out. <laughs> there you are. You see, you've saved 30 cents already. <laughs> what do you got left now? I'm going to send you some money. That's a lie. Why? What do you mean? Who told you to put that in there? You did. Well, I'm telling you, take it out. Get well, it out. Well, don't shout. Who does she think I is? I'm going to send her some money. I don't know. What's she do with the two dollars I promised to Friday? I don't know. Look, look. Nobody knows. Lemonade it. Right. Lemonade it. All right, it's out. What do you got now? Your loving husband. That's ridiculous. Why? <laughs> I sent a wire to my wife just signed your loving husband. She's going to give me to a psychiatrist or something. <laughs> I'm loaded or something. I see. Lemonade it. Oh. What do you got now? Um, what a hip. Well, that's ridiculous, ain't it? What? I mean, if I just send her a wire with my name and say, what a hip, she really knows something's wrong. It's up to you. Eliminate it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do you got now? Well, you having a thing in this wire, Lou. That's good. Now you send that click. Send it.
Gonna have milk any minute. <laughs> hey, you, you, you know, you, Lou Costello, aren't you? Yes, sir. Well, yes. how do you do? What are you doing at the station? My part, right? See, Mr. Rabbit and I were gonna go on a play with Elizabeth Scott, and I gotta go to New York City. New York? Yep. Why don't you go to San Bernardino? I don't have to go to San Bernardino. I'm gonna go to New York. New York? Yeah. Why? Because I gotta get to New York to do the play. And if, another thing, my mother lives in Patterson, New Jersey, so I go over to see my mother. Well, if you New go... York. You see, New York is a suburb to Patterson. New York is a suburb. Yeah. And you're gonna see your mother. Yeah. Well, if you go to San Bernardino, you can see my mother. What I care about seeing your mother? What's wrong with my mother? I said it's anything wrong. Give me one reason why you don't want to see my mother. I didn't what did my mother ever do to you? Your mother never did nothing to me. I didn't say anything wrong with your my mother. My mother never did nothing, huh? Your mother never did anything to me. My mother never did anything. Oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. My mother, for 30 years, she cooked three meals a day. She worked 48 hours a week in the plant packing oranges. She was a member of the garden club, president of the Parent Teachers Association. My mother raised 11 children, and you say she never did anything. <laughs> <laughs> what I care about your mother packing oranges? Oh, you I don't, don't care, care about your kids. You your don't care not... about my mother. You know what's the matter? The trouble with you is your brain is too tense. Too tense? Yes. Two tenths the size of a normal brain. <laughs> you ought to be a stranger. I'm a stranger here. My God. mother's eleven children. They should be miserable. I don't care about your mother and eleven kids. Why don't your eleven kids stay home with their mother and be happy? Oh, stay home and be happy. How can eleven kids be happy living in one room? <laughs> Go on, say it. My mother's eleven kids. My sisters and brothers are a bunch of pigs. Now, wait a minute. I never said that your mother with the kids is a bunch of pigs. They live in one room, they're pigs. I don't care about that. I never go around saying anything like the word pig. If I want to use the word pig, I say swine. Now he's driving my mother in the <laughs> What's my wife ever done to you? What I care about What are you trying to do? Are you trying to make my wife and I to be enemies? Are you trying to do something to hurt my family relations? Now, wait a minute. My I... wife has been good to me all through the years. What does she do? She cooks for me. She washes. She sews. Look, my She's the last one to bed, the first one in the morning. Look, my Go friend. On, spit us up. 
fix it so I should give up my wife. Look, my friend, I want you to live happy with your wife. You should have a long marriage. Well, you want me to be stuck with her for the rest of my life? <laughs> What are you trying to do? Cause trouble in my family? I'm not trying to cause no trouble. I'm bringing my wife a prison. What are you trying to do? Stop it? This happens to be the finest thing, the very latest Hollywood style. Why don't you go to San Bernardino? Let me look for Abbott, will you? Oh, why don't you go to San Bernardino? My wife happens to live in Pismo Beach. Well, why are you asking me to go to San Bernardino with you for? Oh, you want to make me go somewhere else because you don't like it? Go to Pismo Beach I dare you. I dare you to hit me once more. I'm not hitting you. All right. My wife has got a president here. What's wrong with it? The latest Hollywood style. Oh. I suppose I don't know what the latest Hollywood style is, huh? I didn't even ask you what the latest... Oh, I don't oh. care about the latest Hollywood... Now I gotta prove to you that I, I haven't know. been here long enough to find out what the latest style is. We're I going right back east. I don't have to prove to you, but I'll show you that I do know. The latest Hollywood style says that every woman's got to dress according to the color of her husband's hair. If he has black hair, she wears a black dress. <laughs> if red hair, a red dress. Gray hair, a gray dress. If he has red hair when she goes out, she dresses... <laughs> You bring it home to your wife? There you are. <laughs> you get out of here. If I can only find Abbott, I'll get myself set. I'm going to get out of here. Where have you been? Where have you been? I'm looking all over this deep. What depot kind for of you? English is that? Where have you been? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I have been here. <laughs> <laughs> something worrying, worrying. A it. guy gave me a lot of stuff about his wife, yeah. about with a, with a, with a dress well, according to the hair. Yeah, my wife's got to wear a black dress. All I do is get a headache. Every his time. wife never comes out. <laughs> Time you talk, I get a headache. Why don't you take aspirin? I get a huh? Why take aspirin? You're telling me to take an aspirin. You're telling me to take an aspirin. <laughs> Have you a license to practice medicine? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you a license to practice medicine? I got no license to Who practice medicine. Why are you to tell me to take an aspirin? Look, if a guy says he's got a headache, uh, his friend, his friend, his friend always says, Doctor, take an aspirin. Doctors, I told you like saving. I told you like college. I gotta talk once in a while. I've <laughs> taught for years to become doctors, and you tell me to take an aspirin. What do you Every... care about the doctors? You it's don't care. my turn now. You don't care if the doctors are out of work, do you? Look, everybody tells a friend to take an aspirin. You got a headache? I said take aspirin. If you don't want me to tell it, you got a headache? Don't take aspirin. I shouldn't take it. You're my friend. You want me to walk around the street with a headache? Is that, <laughs> is that the kind of a pattern? Why do you take a bromo zone? It's the same thing. I mean, You're I... always in trouble. You're always looking for trouble. I'm not looking for no now trouble. Listen. I want you to be careful when Elizabeth Scott comes out. And don't forget, I don't want you to say one word out of return. Um, boy, am I glad we'll, to get back home. That's well, we'll all I want to chance in that great I'm, show. I'm, I'm glad to get back east. That's, that's all I can tell well, you. You know, I love it back there. This time it is. I like it back, too. Uh, Erskine Lakes, New Jersey is beautiful. Oh, brother. in the fall. I go up with my friend Joe Bosco yeah. and have a nice time. Yeah, with the leaves falling and the snow on the ground. Oh, I love the winter in New York. You like the winter I in New York? I love it. Hey, buddy. What? Where do all the little bugs go in the winter time? Search me. No, thanks. I just want to find out. Now, <laughs> Elizabeth Scott! Yeah. Wait! Elizabeth. Scott, if it isn't Elizabeth Scott! <laughs> Elizabeth. Oh, boy! Oh, quiet! Well, that sort of thing. I, I wanted to meet my partner, uh, Lucas Stella. Her it's... husband must have gray hair. Quiet! <laughs> he says anything, just say, down, boy. <laughs> oh, he's hungry. <laughs> Here, boy. That? I don't eat dog biscuits. What do you feed him, dog food? Ah, strong heart. <laughs> uh, by the way, honey, are we all set in your play in New York? You're sure of that? Yes, but it's Good. the story of Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone? Uh-huh. Great. In it, you play an early settler. Uh -huh. And you, Costello, you play Daniel Boone. Oh, I can see you now with your coonskin hat and your buckskin shirt trimmed with squirrel tails. How do I look? Like a tub of butter with tassels. <laughs> By the way, what do you play, Elizabeth? Oh, I play the part of an Indian girl. An uh, Indian uh -huh. girl? Uh-huh. And I'm madly in love with you. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every night I send up smoke Don't put signals this to, me to show my love. You know, one puff means I adore you. Two puffs, I can't live without you. Three puffs, hold me tight and kiss me. 
have it. Turn me over. I think I'm done on one side. <laughs> They got no more father. Oh, I'll see you later. Where, Where are you going? going? I'm going to Pasadena to get a smudge pot. No, nah, yeah. <laughs> Bud, would oh, you be kind enough to check my trunk? Oh, sure, surely. I'll see you boys later on the train. All right, Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye now. Hey, uh, she's a pretty girl. <laughs> Goodbye, what? Elizabeth. All right, all right. There's There's a fine hunk of stuff. Gave me too much money. Huh? It's not gonna cost all this. Have you got two tens for a five? Just so happen to have it. That's it. Now. <laughs> that Elizabeth, I oh, like her. She's a regular scout, that's why. <laughs> that's a woman that knows her stuff. How much the baggage room is the baggage room is around here somewhere. Look, you know where it is? Just a minute. All right, what's wrong? Just a minute. Fifteen dollars went south. <laughs> you gave me a lot of your fast talking, and have, have you got two tenths for five? And me, like I said, I, I give you two tenths for five over there. Wait a minute, are you accusing me of cheating? No, but you got two tenths. Uh, <laughs> here's your five. Give me back my two tens. Now get my... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you did it to me. <laughs> doing again? What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing, I, but I'm doing the wrong thing. No, 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 no. Put it back. No, don't do that, Luke. Come on, let's get the. No, no, put it there. Leave it there. We better That's go it. check the grip. Look, uh, give me that bill. Give me your hand. Put it in my hand like that and leave it there. That's better. Now, come on. Let's... <laughs> Telegram for G. Joe McKenzie. Telegram for G. Joe McKenzie. Columbus announced when he knew he was born. It was swell, Isabel swell. As Abelard said to Eloise, don't forget to drop a line to me, please. As Julia cried in her Romeo's ear, Romeo, why not take a chance, my dear? It was just one of those things, just one of those crazy flings, one of those bells that now and then ring, just one of those things. It was just one of those nights, just one of those fabulous flights, a trip to the moon on gossamer wings, just one of those things. If we thought a bit of the end, when we started painting the town We'd have been aware that our love affair was too hot not to cool down So goodbye, dear, and amen Here, hoping we meet now and then It was great fun, but it was just one of those things If we thought a bit of the end of it when we started painting the town, we'd have been aware that our love affair was too hot not to cool down. So goodbye, dear, and amen. Here's hoping we meet now, man. It was great fun, but it was just one of those wonderful and beautiful. But it was just
because you're mine. The brightest star I see looks down my love and envies me because you're mine. Because you're mine The breeze that hurries by Becomes a melody And why? Because you're mine Because you're mine Because you're mine I only know Just as long as I may live, I'll only live for the kisses that you alone can give me. And when we kiss, it isn't thunder, dear, it's only my poor heart. And it's a applause because you're mine. Because you're get this. Where'd that come from? Is that yours? No. Is that yours? <laughs> what are you doing? I swore I can remember. Excuse me, sir. Did your hand slip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Somebody just happened to put it there. Well, forget about it. Uh, what's your birth? Huh? What's your birth? 1917. I'm not talking about four years. I lived in Paris. No, 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 no. no. When you bought your tickets, uh, did they give you a slip for your birth? A slip? Yeah. I go to bed in my pajamas. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You got any? Where is it? I got to take it someplace around here. Where? Oh, I know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I remember. You're in 10 and I'm in 12. Oh, uh, yeah. There's 10. Here's 12. Okay. There. <laughs> I wonder what that boxing glove is doing there. <laughs> There's a loose boxing glove in the upper. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's nothing up there. What? When you go to bed and get some rest, we've got a lot of work to do in New York. Shoes <laughs> on. Shoes on. Hey, Porter, do a good job on these and do the same for my partner down below. Send <laughs> <laughs> the <Another> iron. <laughs> Do you know that there's a horse in the lower berth? Yes, sir. How come? Because he wasn't able to take a ladder to the upper. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what? did you see Porter take a pair of mules from under my berth? Wait a minute. You got a pair of mules under your berth? Yes. <clears throat> and there's a horse in the lower one over here? <laughs> What are we traveling on, a cattle car? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Miss Scott keeps her mules handy in case she wants to get a drink of water. She keeps her mules handy in case she wants to go for water? Sure. Isn't that a little tough for such a short ride? Oh, no. Sue, <laughs> I don't ride the mules. I walk with a pair of mules on each foot. 
You're standing there telling me that you ride the mules one on each foot. Yeah. Ben Harris or something. No, wait you me. ride the mules. That's yeah. a good trick if she can do it. No, 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 Lou. She, uh, she gets out of bed, she slips on her mules. Serves her own right. She should. Anybody keeps mules under the bed should fall. <laughs> Why don't you keep them in a stable where they belong? Lou, you... <laughs> Lou, I often walk in my sleep, so I always put the mules under my bed. Why don't you put them in a stable where they belong? Lou, 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 Lou. Her mules are her slippers. <laughs> that was a hot one, wasn't it? <laughs> That's a funny twist. Well. I'm terribly sorry, bud, but the don't train try it, whistle bud. scare me. <laughs> Haven't you got any left-handed whistles? <laughs> Where's all the whistles? That boxing glove has still got me. Where's that boxing glove you got up here? Was ever! 